and they hired me for two UGC campaigns, both of which were four figures. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jalen and I'm a beauty influencer, but I also help creators get paid what they're worth and that's what you're here for. In this video, I'm going to discuss the three things that you can do to land paid partnerships in the second half of this year. And I'm not just regurgitating stuff from the internet here. Like, these are action items that I have done myself and that are proven to work. Number one, create organic content for brands especially with what you receive in PR. You can do this with products that you purchase, like if it's a viral product or if it's a new launch. But if a brand sends it to you in PR, that means that it's a priority for them and they're literally hoping that you post about it. You essentially want to show the brand how you can naturally incorporate their products into a video. So if a brand sends me PR and I love it, I'll do a review or I'll do like a first impressions video. I actually did this with a brand last year. I had been using the product and turned out I just absolutely loved it. So I ended up posting about it and then the brand reached out to me this year and they hired me for two UGC campaigns, both of which were four figures. And then they came back later on and they asked for more usage on one of the videos, which was another four figure rate. I know some people say like brands don't check their DMs or they don't check their mentions, but I think that couldn't be further from the truth. Brands definitely monitor their DMs for customer feedback or complaints. And a lot of them will comment on your video if you tag them. Plus, I've seen some PR agencies say that they are checking to see who posts. And if you do post and it performs well or you share the product link and you generate sales, you can take those analytics, share them in your pitch to the brand, and that can just strengthen your case. Number two, speaking of pitching, do not forget to follow up with brands after you pitch them. If they say they don't have any partnerships at the moment, wait a few months and reach back out. For example, at the beginning of this year, I went through my good old brand Rolodex and I was like, hmm, who haven't I heard from in a while? What partners did I have last year that I can follow up with? And lo and behold, two of the brands that I followed up with actually did have ongoing campaigns that they hired me for. So now I have two long-term campaigns with both of them. So be sure to follow up on your pitches and circle back on those old partnerships. I have a rule of thumb that I will reach out to a brand thrice. The first time is the pitch, the second time is the follow up, and the third time is the last time. And I make sure that I spread those check-ins out so obviously I'm not bombarding someone's inbox. And I only do this if I reach out to the brand and don't get a response, obviously. But for brands who say like, oh, we don't have any partnerships at this time, I would circle back like once a quarter and just keep checking in to see like if there are any updates or if they have any campaigns that you can work on. And I feel like reaching out once a quarter is like subtle enough so you're not a nuisance, but you're still kind of keeping yourself top of mind. Number three, and I cannot stress this enough, you have to start building relationships with brands. When a brand reaches out to you to send you PR or to add you to the PR list, whatever, let them know like if you're excited to try the brand, if you've heard great things about the product or if there are other products from the brand that you're also interested in trying. This kind of goes hand in hand with my first point because a lot of the times PR is the first touch point that we have with a brand and you really want to make a good impression. So actually take the time to test out products that you receive in PR. And what I like to do is I'll reach back out to the brand just to confirm that I received the package, um, I'll let them know like how I'm liking everything or if I have any feedback. I'm genuinely excited to connect with brands that I love. And the relationship does not always have to be transactional. I know we're trying to get to the bag, but you got to develop the relationship first. So that way it can become mutually beneficial. Brands are looking for loyal, long-term partners. And you also have to remember that there is a person on the other side of that email or on the other side of that DM. So be personable, be professional, and cultivate a good relationship. Comment down below any questions that you guys have about brand partnerships or if there are any other topics that you'd like me to discuss. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok to keep up with my day-to-day -day life. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.